You no, know, nah, I mean, now it, it, things changed. I think I feel like the Democrats are much more like the Republicans were at the time. You know, they were kind of like Bush was kind of like, you know, tr- you know, doing shady shit after shady shit. And uh, it was just it seemed like the Democrats were more legit. I, I love Billy Clinton for obvious reasons. I love Bill Clinton because he just got a shitload of pussy, dude. And he did the cigar move. My my dad yeah. made it evident that that was a good move. I thought it was weird. I was a young man. I was 12 years old. But my dad's like, the fucking Billy, man, fucking put the cigar and put it in his mouth. That's a fucking move, huh? Does your dad That's love it? Does your dad positively love that Bill, Clinton, that Bill Clinton put a cigar up Monica Lewinsky's pussy? He loved it more than he'll ever know. <laughs> He's, I don't think there's a year that he doesn't bring it up. Or if, if Billy Clinton is brought up, he brings the cigar thing within the first, the next three sentences. He brings up the cigar thing, but it is outstanding that he did that to that that hottie dude, Monica. When she was young, I hate when people talk shit and say she was just like ugly. She was not ugly, dude. Well, she was not hot either. Yeah, but I mean, but you I respect would, it still. Mm-hmm. You also, he dude. Can you ima- in the Oval Office? He would like make her. Hey, before you leave, honey, just hike up your skirt. Let me see that ass. Like he would make her like show her ass. Like in the Oval Office, the man. Dude, he was going in so hot. It's <laughs> yeah. been a while since I I watched a documentary on it, and he was behaving like he came from a rich family, and his yeah. parents made him get a job at Quiznos. Mm-hmm. Like he was behaving like that at the job, like just aggressively hitting on his 18 year old coworkers. <laughs> and if he got fired, no big deal. He drove a Range Rover there. Like, yeah, he, he, like he was not acting like a married guy. He certainly wasn't acting like the fucking president. Like he was nope. just like barreling into her office with his cock out. <laughs> it's it's out of control, man. He is my president. He's my president. And also, you know, I think it's just shocking, like after doing all that, that he just like posts like a picture, like he posted a picture of Hillary on his Twitter, 49 years uh, of happiness together and just leaves the comments on, you know, it's wow. out of control, man. I don't know how the I don't think I don't know why Obama and him don't like limit the comments like a lot of people limit the comments. I think even like uh, Andrew Tate limits the comments because he would get like demolished by like you know the left leaning women but yeah yeah a couple like bill gates can't be on social media all of his accounts all the comments are turned off because they're just all elon yeah go go, go to go fuck another kid on epstein's island and control the world you piece of shit that's every comment on bill gates every comment yeah every single one i can't believe (laughs) dude elon just saying in a a podcast like yeah i think bill's gonna yeah gates i think he's gonna be worried about the epstein list or he's gonna be worried about like like he said he's gonna he should be worried about the epstein list dropping if trump becomes president bill gates is very worried right now i think yeah just what fucking they're just so unrelatable, those guys. I mean, Bill Clinton, love what he did with putting the cigar up the pussy, but, like, he doesn't own it. Like, Trump mm-hmm. owns that. Like, Trump's just like, I like beautiful women. I came at her like a bitch. It's locker room talk. Leave it alone. Like, like Trump owns it. Fucking Elon Musk owns his scumbag side. There is something off-putting about the way Bill Clinton and Bill Gates, like, pretend they're the good guys. And that they're they're perfect. Like Bill Clinton just I remember when they deposed him and there was a clip of him. The camera was on his face as they were reading him the cigar allegations. Mm-hmm. And he did this thing. This is going to be physical and not for the listening audience. But he was like. Yeah, just like bad acting 101. Yeah. Like, oh, my, oh, my. My my virgin Arkansasian ears have never heard such smut in my life. I'm just going to have to take a couple moments for myself to regroup. That's what he was saying with his face as if he didn't as if he wasn't the guy who bought the Cuban and made it disappear up his fucking staffer's twat. No doubt it was a Cuban, too. <laughs> yeah, of course. He's Billy. <laughs> You know, and some pe- some people dip it into like their whiskey, some high end whiskey, but he dipped it into some pussy juice. And that might be the best way to have your cigars. So Billy we're, Clinton, I salute you. Get out. My dad came in, gave me one of his fucking speeches about how uh, a man can be forty five and marry a twenty five year old. And I just uh, did he really say that? Oh yeah, dude. He's like, he's like, you know, he's like, you got time. He's like, what are you doing? You're fucking twenty four years old. You're gonna go marry a chick and leave your family. He's like, he's like, look, I don't care. He's like, you can leave. I'm still gonna love you. But he's like. But like, come on, man. He's like, you can get you can get pussy till you're 45. And he's like, and, and he's like, if you do it right, I think you should marry a 25 year old when you're 45. And I was like, thank you, pops. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> that's good. 
in some ways it's <laughs> and kind then of, he, it's, and then it's, he started talking about Billy Clinton and the, and the Cuban. Yeah, exactly. And then he goes, Hey, you know, and then you could be like Billy Clinton. Look at him <laughs> and putting the cigar in the post. Now. Yeah. He loves that story so much. It's crazy, but yeah, I, I mean, Billy good, Clinton, was, how old I want to know, can tell Jesse to look up how old bill and Monica were respectively uh, during oh the cigar incident. Tell yeah, Jesse to look that up. Let's see. He's he, it, it might up. have been a perfect 45 to 25 or thereabouts. Oh, uh, it's probably pretty close. What was the age difference, Jesse? Same dude, seven years old. You're seven uh, years away. 27. 27 years? Yeah, so he was 50. He was, she 50? was 50. She was 23. She was 23. Oh, he was 50. What a pimp, oh, dude. Billy. What a pimp. Billy Clinton at 50, dude, doing that shady shit. He must have been the shadiest guy of all time in like he college and shit. Guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. He was he was fucking dude, killing he, it. He was gnarly, dude. I mean, it was like I don't know if he was drinking because what I heard. I think he was. I mean, dude, this was a pattern. He would do it all the time. He would just come on to reporters and shit. It it, it was like he was fucking wasted. <laughs> it was like he just every day was spring break for Billy Clinton. Oh my God. Can you imagine? Just uh, he sees any uh, like the report coming on the reporters is amazing. I bet you he took down some hot reporters, man. Dude. I mean, like every I can't imagine how many women want to sleep with you. I mean, we saw like the hottest chicks tell us they wanted to blow Trump at the rally, dude. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like even the girl we brought an OnlyFans girl and she's hot, dude. And she was like, Yeah, and she would like, she's like, I'd blow Trump 100%. Oh, yeah. I I, th I don't know if I've told this on mic yet, but I told it to you in person. There's a girl at the homeless shelter I volunteer at who was in love. And this girl is like a pretty fit and attractive. I think she's like 29 or 30, like a really fit, really attractive, like super dateable. She is in love with a 50 year old homeless man who comes <laughs> to the shelter. <laughs> and I joke it like she's, she's so under this guy's spell. I asked mm -hmm. her, she told me this. And first of all, I told her it was my favorite thing ever because of the amount of hope it gave me mm -hmm. for the future. But then I asked her completely sarcastically. I was like, oh, uh, does this guy have money? Is he going to be able to look after you? And she's like, I don't know. Maybe he has money. And I was like, <laughs> you are out of your fucking... He's fucking coming into a homeless shelter <laughs> and eating recycled food from Rayleigh's. Like, no, he doesn't have money, but she's just like so in love with this guy that she will not see any of his liabilities, let us call them. Have you have you seen the guy? No. She we she's oh. not been there when we've been there. And we're I'm I'm so excited to finally see him. Yeah, I hope you do see him. You still got some hours left at that to go to there? Or? Dude, honestly, I probably will keep hitting it even after I'm done with my hours. It's a good hang. I, you know what, man? You, <clears throat> I don't know how much you socialize in jujitsu, but I do. When I don't go to softball, I really miss the hang, dude. Just hanging yeah. with some people, just having something to do and and talk to a bunch of randos that that ask you questions and stimulate you is more important than you realize as a comedian, man. And like yeah. that, that place that that sounds like a fun place to go. I mean, I might, I might come by with you one of these days. <laughs>